Hey everyone, today we have a tin completely full, unopened, of Weathens in a limited edition tin, snack crackers. I don't know about you, but I eat these things all the time and they, now they come in a box. They don't come in a nice container like this anymore. And I'm actually surprised that they still came in this in 1987. Let's get a quick look over and we're going to go ahead and pry this top off. It's in pretty good shape. You can tell it's been dinged around a lot. That's why you got the surface rust starting. Got a little bit of rust right here. Oh, look at that. It might not look too good inside when we get it open. It's got rust holes right through it. This was kept in a humid spot. Make sure this thing focuses in if anyone wants to read it. Yeah, honestly, when I first found this, I thought the container was like from the 50s because that's what it looks like. But after a little bit of research, because it says 87 underneath it, after some research, yeah, it is 87, but it looks a lot older. Yeah, and it has a barcode on it. Barcodes didn't start until the 70s, and they weren't widely used until the 80s. Let's go ahead and get this thing open. Oh, that's nasty. Some, it's a mouse poop stuck on the top of it. We might have some issues because it's rusted. It might not want to open right away. Yeah. Got to get up on here to get some extra. I can hear rust cracking as I'm trying to pry it open. Is that, yeah, the rust. Yeah, oh, it's, it's getting there. Oh. Slowly. That dent doesn't help either. Looks like maybe that dent is why it started rusting there. Oh, come on. It's so tight. Oh, oh we got rust chips everywhere, all over the table. Rust. Definitely the rust went right through the container, as you can see. So, for an unknown amount of time, probably at least a decade, it's been exposed to air. This is kind of cool. Look at this. Got a wax bag in there full of the crackers. Not looking too good inside either. Look at all that rust chips. All rust. Let's get this thing back in. Take a look at the product. Yeah, it's real nasty. A lot of mold. But it actually looks like at, at some point it started being preserved. Some old crackers. I'm actually going to keep these in my collection. They're already exposed to the air. They're not really going to get any worse. Maybe start to get some petrified in a way. Look at that. Mold. Bunch of mold, every single one. Try to find a clean one. Yeah, it kind of looks exactly what you would get today in a newer box of Weathens. I just smelled it. it smells like a moldy piece of sheetrock. Nothing left of it. Well, that's super gross and disappointing. If the inside would have been in a plastic bag like newer tins, it may have had a chance. Although after these years, usually the plastic innards... Because I've opened old cereal boxes that are like 30 years old. Usually the inside plastic gets so brittle it just starts cracking and letting air in anyways. It's pretty much useless keeping old cereal boxes more than 30 years, unless you know it's going to be sitting the entire time, because any little shift will crack that brittle plastic on the inside. All right, just going right back in my collection. This is probably going to go on, yep, really tight again.
and we'll check that out again long in the future. While I got it here, take check this out. This is made by the same company, Saltine Crackers. I love these old tins. Now they're they're a collector's item because they're so old, but back when they're actually making these, it's like now, even coffee cans are getting kind of rare now. They're making them out of plastic. They're always great for keeping nuts and bolts in. This old saltine cracker container. Love this old stuff. It's got a smaller short barcode, so not really sure. Well, the storage locker I got it from, they were obviously a collector to pay eight bucks for this. Oh, look, that's even older, 1978. Keep in mind that's just a copyright. A copyright lasts usually only a few years. So between 1978 and probably 1980. With food, it's kind of rare for it to go more than a few years. So I'd say this is late 70s. Hope this video was interesting. Thanks for watching.